about 143. Um, so for the longest forever, I decided that I was going to recreate um, Easy Nails nail tutorial of shooting stars, and um, I was never able to get around to it. Um, but I, I did seriously think that it was amazing the first time I saw it, and so um, now I was able to find it. I was just um, going around through my YouTube earlier today, and I found it. And I was like, oh, well, I have time to do it right now. So, um, I did do it, and, um, like, I, I'll go to the site. So, I go to YouTube. I went to YouTube, and then I typed in nail tutorial shooting stars. It's like the first thing that showed up. And actually, I've already done it on my nails, so I don't have to, um, I'm not going to open it up and do all that stuff. Um, okay, so what I used, um, for the black stripe, I used Nobby in black glitter. These are all thin tip brushes, but, um, you can, what you can do is glop it, glop some of the polish on a piece of paper, and then use, like, this, um, the brush with a dotting the one that has a dotting tool, or it doesn't have to have a dotting tool, but then you can use a brush and um, do like little swipes. And um, yeah, but I used um, Nobby and Black Glitter. And then instead of using a light blue because I didn't have a light blue, I just used LA Colors Art Deco. And this is, um, I guess it's metallic, like a metallic blue sort of color. But then when I looked at it, and I was looking at the stuff, I was like, oh, well, it looks a little dark. So I decided to use a pearl white from Nail Art, um, just to add, like, a little bit of, um, lightness to it. And then, of course, um, the Stripe Right Silver, um, Silver Glitter for, just to outline everything. And then, um... I didn't have silver stars, so I decided to um, use whatever stars I had on hand, and um, this is what I used. I, I want to say it's like a pumpkin sort of colored star, and um, when you buy it, you know, it's like in a little thing like this. Um, so, yeah, and then as a top coat, instead of using like a regular clear top coat, I used um, the holographic top coat that I usually use um, by, um, what's it called, Out the Door, I think it is, um, Northern Lights Out the Door um, holograph top coat in silver, and so I'm going to turn it to the side and you can see like all the glitter that's in that, and it's so, so pretty when it goes on the nail. Um, like I said, I just did this today. And I went outside to look at it, and it's super sparkly. It looks really, really, really nice. Um, so I recommend, I definitely recommend that you guys all try this out. Um, it's super easy. Like, I thought it was going to be much harder than it was. So I'm very impressed, and I'm, I'm very glad that I was finally able to do this nail design. Um, and, yeah. Uh, go ahead and try it out for yourself. See how you like it. I absolutely love it. And, of course, every other day or so... I'm going to use a clear top coat just to cover up, um, make sure that the nail stays covered and that the rhinestones and the polish doesn't start to chip and the rhinestones don't fall off and everything. So I hope you guys try it out. I will let you guys know what my friends think and I'll see you guys later. Bye YouTube.